Good morning. It is 3.52. I just pulled up to the gym right now. They open at 4. Today is my first um, actual shift for my residency, so I have to be there. The shift starts at 7, so I have to be there before 7. Um, so I'm at the gym right now, waiting for the doors to open, get my workout in, and then go back home and get ready for work. So I just thought that I would take you guys along with me and just kind of see how the day goes. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous. I don't know what to expect. Um, luckily, my entire like NICU cohort, our first day is all today. And then moving forward, we're going to be on like different shifts and such. But yeah, I'm really excited. I can't, I can't wait to learn everything. I can't wait to see the babies. I can't believe it's finally here. Um, today is Thursday. The residency started on Monday. And yeah. So let's go ahead and get a workout in. I just got back from the gym and now I'm making myself breakfast to take. I already took a shower, put on my scrubs. So now I'm just cooking my red peppers, orange peppers and onions and then i put in turkey bacon two slices of that and then i'm going to be doing two whole eggs and then one egg that's just egg white i don't know why i've just always made my eggs like this and so i pretty much have this every single day usually with green peppers though Now I'm just doing my hair. I put some dry shampoo in earlier, so I just let it absorb a little bit. So now I'm brushing it out so I can put it back in a clip. If you're wondering, I am currently pumping. I have the pumps that go in your bra, which is why my shirt just looks so big right there. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to put some concealer um, like a couple days before I started my residency. I got a random pimple on my arm, or my arm, sorry, I got a random pimple on my lip and then my forehead and of course I picked at it so it got a little red so I'm just putting some concealer on to cover it up. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna okay so i'm in the line for starbucks right now it is 6 25 i need to be upstairs um in my unit by six let me order good morning thank you starbucks for me up today Hello, can I have a grande, um, what is it called? Uh, salted caramel cold brew? Did you say grande salted caramel cold brew? Yes. All right, anything else for you? That'll be it. All right, I'll see you up here, Tika. Thank you. Don't you just hate when you get <laughs> to the window and then all of a sudden you're like, what did I come here for? Um, on the way here, I wanted to get the brown sugar shake and espresso, but I checked and they're out of stock 
of that right now. So that's why I totally like drew a mind blank because that's what I was about to say. And then I realized, no, they're out of that. So anyways, I need to be upstairs um, in my unit by six, a little bit before seven. They said like 657 or something. Um, so I can be there for the morning huddle and we can get our assignments. I meet my preceptor today. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully I make it there a time and I'm not rushing right now. It says I'll be there in the parking lot. Well, basically in the parking lot in the hospital area by 632. Um, so it's like five minutes from here. So I should be perfectly fine on time. But I usually like getting there pretty early. Um, the other day, two days ago, actually. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, the traffic was traffic, but I, the parking lot was so packed and I'm like, you know, going around and I went all the way up to the top and there was literally one parking spot. So I hurried up and parked, got my stuff, basically like ran down to where I was supposed to be and I got to where I was supposed to be at one o'clock on the dot and I mean so I was there on time but I basically felt like I was 10 minutes late everybody was already there they were literally waiting for me so that way we could take our picture in front of the hospital sign um and yeah and so I was late and I was just like great no you know I'm leaving a bad impression on there. Just gonna think of me of a, as a girl who was late. <sighs> so yeah. So then yesterday, I got to where I needed to be like over 30 minutes early, and that was basically a day that I could have taken my time a little bit more because we were in the class. Um. But yeah. Okay. Well, about to get my coffee and then rush over to the hospital. Good morning. <clears throat> I just got to the hospital parking lot right now. <sighs> um, I'm just waiting. I got here really early. I washed my hair this morning, so I'm letting it like air dry as much as I can. Um, but look at this. I can't even tell if my hair has somehow become extremely curly or it's just also like just so frizzy which i know i've always had like really frizzy hair but now this like curl pattern or whatever is coming out but anyways today is friday it is the last day of my work week our work weeks are Sunday to Saturday, so today is the last day of my work week. I have tomorrow off, so we're going to go to Disneyland again. But this first week has been exhausting. So exhausting. Like, I literally go to bed at night at like 8 o'clock before I would, you know, like play on my phone or not play on my phone, I don't know what I'm talking about. I would like scroll on my phone and, you know, like um, just be on like um, Instagram or scrolling through YouTube or just, you know, whatever. I would just be on my phone doing absolute nonsense until I decided, okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. No, this week I have gone upstairs like seven, eight o'clock even. Um, and I will, my husband will go to the gym at night, so I'll text him, you know, good night. And literally put my phone down, head hits the pillow, and I'm out. I am so exhausted and dead tired by the end of the day. And I'm sure it's a mix of, you know, um, being at the hospital and um, learning all of these things for, you know, five days in a row, but at the same time, uh, because I have to be here so early, I've been waking up 
the gym opens at four. So I've been trying to go to the gym at four. So that means I've been waking up at three to feed my daughter. So that way by three thirty, I can go ahead and like get ready, take my pre-workout, take um, my water and everything and then head to the gym. Okay. And so that way I could be there at four o'clock when they open. But starting on Monday, my daughter all of a sudden decided, like, I'm not going to sleep until three. I'm going to wake up at 11. I'm going to wake up at 12. I'm going to wake up at two o'clock. And, you know, she's hungry. And so I've been waking up at like two feeding her until about 2 30 and then it's like i can't go back to sleep because i'm gonna wake up you know at three or whatever and have to get ready to go to the gym so i've been starting my days at about 2 2 30 every single morning getting out of bed going to the gym for an hour coming back home getting ready, you know, getting all of my stuff together, packing my lunch in order to get here, get in the parking lot, find a parking space and, you know, start the whole day. So then by, you know, three o'clock, I are, I hit a wall because I've already been up for what at that time, like 13 hours by three o'clock, I absolutely hit a wall and I'm like, exhausted and I need to have an energy drink and it's rough like yesterday I was telling my husband um, we finished at 3 30 and so left four o'clock I'm driving home and I was fine most of the day but four o'clock driving home like my eyes were already feeling so heavy and like sucks. <laughs> Luckily today we had a later start to a day. So I let myself sleep in an hour more. And then I got up and just did uh, four to five minutes of cardio in the garage instead of going to the gym today. But my gosh, this week has just been exhausting, which they said it was going to be. They said, you know, like this first week is going to be so much because we're here five days a week. And it's going to be rough. Um, but you know, it's fine. We made it, we made it to Friday. <sighs> so after today I get to rest for a little bit Saturday morning and then we're going to Disneyland and walk all over and then I'll be exhausted again. And then Sunday I come back to the hospital and I have my, you know, 7am shift. So that means I have to be here before 7am. Um, but then we have Memorial off. Luckily we have, um, three holidays off because they're during this residency period. So I have that Monday off and then Tuesday is right back to it. What did I get myself into? I don't know. But, um, aside from that, yesterday was really cool. Um, I was with my preceptor and we had three babies. They were stable. Uh, which is why we had three i don't know like it just like really filled my cup um obviously well not obviously i'm done having kids now my baby is now five months somehow and i know you know she's gonna be a year before i know it these babies are itty bitty um you know they I think the oldest one that we were taking care of was maybe 38 weeks, six weeks. I don't really remember. He was getting um, discharged to go home though. But you know, it was, it was interesting. Um, I obviously on that shift, I did have staple babies. So there wasn't, I don't want to say there wasn't a whole bunch to do. Like it was a lot of time management. Um, because they were each fed like 
one was fed at eight, the other one was 8.30, the other one was nine, and they're fed every three hours. So, you know, that's about an hour and a half of feeding them. And then after that, you need a chart. And then, let me see, eight, 8.30, nine. So then you have two hours of downtime, you know, to be able to chart and get done whatever you need to do because then 11 o'clock rolls around and you're back to feeding the first baby and then you know 11 30 and then 12. and then once again you're charting again two hours of downtime but i mean it's not really downtime i feel like we were seriously busy the entire time i mean which was nice because the shift went by decently quick and i was with my preceptor so you know we were like you know talking um getting to know each other she was super sweet very nice very helpful um but there's just so much to like learn so the shift went by you know decently quick and then it's like once you're done with the shift it's is when it hits you and you're just like oh my god i'm exhausted <laughs> but it was really nice. I'm excited to go back. I go back on Sunday, but I'm going to have a different preceptor, sadly. Um, I don't know when I'll be back with my first preceptor. I'm going to have three different preceptors. Um, but it's exciting. Today we have a device day. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be exactly what it sounds like, learning the different devices that we're going to be using. Um, and yeah, can't believe it. I made it through my first week. It was exhausting. But it's nice. I was telling my husband, like, it's just so nice to be done with school. And, you know, I clock out at the end of the day. I go home and, like, that's it. I don't. I don't worry about checking my emails anymore. Thank God I used to check my emails all day, every day. I don't worry about checking my emails all the time. I don't worry about what assignment I need to do. What, I, what do I need to complete still? You know, like checking due dates, making sure everything's done, making sure that I submitted everything right. Just so much. And so now I'm telling him I get to go home at the end of the day and I just get to be home. And I remember being in nursing school telling him like I can't wait for that day I can't wait to be done with work and I can go home and I can just be home I can just be a mom I can just be a normal person and not be preoccupied with all of these other tasks and to-do lists in my head I just get to go home and you know like rest unwind and be in my safe space instead of just, like I said, constantly being preoccupied with everything that I need to do, thinking, oh, I'm sitting here on the couch, you know, hanging out with my kids. I could be doing X, Y, Z. And so it's just crazy to finally be in this place where, you know, the place that I have been like so ready to get to after being in school for you know nearly three years it is so nice to just you know work my butt off during the day and then come home and and breathe <laughs> so yeah that is my little update um i will update you more after i have my device day today so I will talk to you guys after.